Yo, what is happening, guys? Unspeed Clocks. So today we're back another Unspeed podcast, and as always, I'm back with Shay. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we weren't here the past two weeks. One of them, I was just so mentally drained, I didn't do it. And then last week was Shay's birthday, so we just took the week off. So we're back now. <laughs> we're we're back now. To start it off, I have my dad joke. <laughs> I have my okay. dad joke already, right? Two cowboys were lost in the desert and were starving. Finally, they see a tree in the distance draped with bacon. Look, says one cowboy, it's a bacon tree, we're saved. He then begins to run towards the tree to only be shot down by a haul of bullets. With his last dying breath, he says, it's not a bacon tree, it's a ham bush. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That depresses me on so many levels, man. Wow. It's a hot bush. <laughs> 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 fuck right off. Just fuck. Well, the point is, well, do you know what? You're laughing, so it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. I say go fuck yourself because you disappointed me to the point where it's funny. Like, <laughs> That's the point of what these dad <laughs> jokes are supposed to do. They're supposed to disappoint you to the point you laugh and I did it. <laughs> I'm so, you know, disheartened with myself. <laughs> and I find that funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I find fucking hilarious. I need to go back to school and learn something. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Christ. Ah, oh, boosh. Wow. <laughs> I've told, I can't remember who it was, but I told somebody that and they didn't get it. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh, must God. have been sheltered. I, I, I don't know who it was, but I told somebody that joke and they didn't get it. And I was going to stand there, ambush, ambush. And they were like, and then they looked at me for a couple of seconds like, oh yeah, like an ambush? I'm like, yeah, like an ambush. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at them, they're like, disappointed. They're like, yeah, like an ambush, yeah. <laughs> now, I was like, now you've just ruined the joke and I don't even find it funny anymore because I have not explain it yeah, twice. <laughs> they're, they're sitting there and they're like, oh, like an ambush. Or like a fucking like an ambush. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, they start laughing they laugh. and I finished laughing ten minutes ago because I, st- I started explaining the ten minutes ago. Yeah, and you know, you, you just look at them and then you know their eyes just go down. And they're like, what? And then you just look at them and you're just like, get the fuck. <laughs> get the you're fuck like, out of my get out. get out of my house. <laughs> yeah, just get out of my life. You know, oh, I mean, just, just go and jump off of a train because you're shit. Go run towards that bacon down. tree. Um, you what? Say go run towards that bacon tree. Exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how was your week? Did anything um, change or what? Did anything change in your past week? In my, uh, change? No. <laughs> I'm living the same life. I'm 21 now, so you know, it's alright. Um, you're getting your back pains and you're starting to laugh and tell dad jokes. Right. I'm starting to tell dad jokes now without even realizing it. So it's yeah. funny because you're you're going into your you're going into your dad era where you're gonna tell um dad jokes and have back pains. I've had back pains and been telling dad jokes. I've had back pains since I was a kid. I've been telling dad jokes since like 2016, so I'm ready to go on that grandfather stage. No shit. Yeah. I, I'm ready to ju- I'm ready to just be fucking the one handing out money at this point. I'm ready to go on that there, grandfather here's stage. A pound. You can spend it on a pound mix up, child. I'm, I'm, and they're like, but Granda, I wanted an iPhone. And I was like, well, too bad, here's a pound. We yeah. didn't have technology back in my day. Well, we did. Back in my but... day, we had the iPhone 4. Real iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> None of this dark, sensitive fucking Yo, shit. Jay. Back in my day, everything wasn't so sensitive. Even the phones are sensitive. Back in my day, we had a Nokia brick and it was hard as rocks. As the generations you go on, everything gets sensitive. Everything gets sensitive, even the phones, because the phones break easier. Oh shit! Yeah, the phones bend in your pocket, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they bend inside of your pocket. You know what I mean? There's a horror on your like, screen. You, you blow it, and the screen just cracks. <laughs> oh fuck it! Do you know what's really sensitive as well? My hair bubbles because you know why? I broke one. How did I break one? You ask? Because I opened my fist inside of it. For fuck's sake! Yeah, literally, I was putting up my hair this morning because my hair was wet. I find it easier whenever my hair is wet to put my hair up. Yeah. Um, I have two ponytails, so I've got one at the back uh, and one at the top. But I was putting on the one at the top, and obviously, whenever you're doing the ponytail, I'm gonna, like, thingy here. 
but while obviously while you're doing a ponytail you know you get it like that and then you take it off your hand like this here so you do so i'm just demonstrating with no ponytail right now um but you get it off your hand and then you lift it but i had to lift it the whole way around the fucking ponytail and i was lifting it at the top because my yeah. hands are so big i had to lift it over my fucking hands and over my knuckles and then it just fucking snapped and i was like for fuck's sake so i had to ask my mum if i had any more and she gave me like a hundred and i was like you so i'm happy i got a hundred hour bubbles and now i'm gay so yay <laughs> <laughs> just whenever you said that you opened your fist inside it and it snapped the disappointment in your voice you're like, oh my fist inside it and it snapped it's just the disappointment in your voice I was like well yes you know, oh yeah but you open your fist inside shit you just you know you don't think it's going to snap and break yeah yeah but nah no nothing nothing else um I started fucking what do you call it listening to an audiobook that I've had since like 2017 what is it? Why not? Oh. Life and death though, so the guy is the, what do you call it, the human, and the girl is the vampire. And I'm like, yes. In a reverse gun. Exactly. In a reverse gun. <laughs> it's like we didn't even reverse that shit. We reversed the opposite of that shit, so we took it from opposite time, and then like we oppositely reversed it. Reverse it. <laughs> we oppositely reversed it reversedly. Uh, so dirty. You know, oh god. So, yeah. No, but it's fucking amazing, and I'm just like, you know, I don't know. I connect so much with a character. A lot of people hate this fucking book, and I'm just like, you know, I like it because you know the way he describes, the way he likes the woman. I'm just like, yeah, it's me. So you know, I'm so pathetic too. So. The way he I describes the way he likes the woman, like. He gets in contact. He he gets human contact from a female. So inspirational. <laughs> yeah, he gets human contact from a female, and then you know his heart just explodes. Like she touches his hand once, a and he practically dies. A female looked at him and didn't barf instantly. I want to be like him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, for fuck's sake! Did you barf when you looked at a female? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that snort was new. Fucking phone like. <laughs> just fell over. There we go. Um, do uh. you know what I found out this week? Fast and Furious 9 is out. <laughs> and as sad as it sounds, I'm debating going by myself. <laughs> 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 see, no, none of my friends are overly big in Fast and Furious, so I'm kind of just like, I really want to see it, so I might just go myself, in all honesty. Because I really want to see it. <laughs> I've been to a cinema since, like, 2019, bro. Yeah, I haven't been to a cinema since before COVID, where I'm kind of just like, I want to go to the cinema, and I really want to watch Fast and Furious, so I'm like, I might just go by myself, because, see, I, Cameron Waring probably would have went, but he's not over here, he's in Manchester, so I'm kind of just like, I guess I'll just go by myself. What about Cameron Stevenson? Eh, uh, he, he'll probably be busy, or he probably just won't be into it, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably just go by myself. Do you know what? It, well, mean, could, it means that no one will talk for it because I hate going and watching movies with people that uh, talk constantly for it. Like, have, like, if it's a comedy, have your laughs here and there, but don't talk the whole way for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then again, whenever we all went to see The Lion King fam, like, we all sang. Yeah, but that's different because, like, you're singing, like, with the movie and, like, that's what I said. Mm. We were having our laughs, but me and you weren't fucking me and you weren't sitting there while the movie was playing while they're fucking um singing hakuna matata we weren't be like what do you want to get from mick dicks <laughs> oh, yeah. i want a big mac <laughs> and some fries with it we weren't fucking doing that <laughs> and a fish fillet because it reminds me of the smell between your girlfriend's legs sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful i'm sorry <laughs> but um, it's just about a random general person, so <laughs> okay. No, um, <laughs> no, but yeah, like that. That's different because we actually watched the movie and it was sang and all with it. But we actually watched the movie. Where do you know, um, people that literally just sit there and talk constantly. I know someone. I can't name their name, but you don't know them anyway. But they just sat and constantly talked through the entire movie, and it was getting to that point. I felt like ripping the fucking chair out of the floor and throwing it at them. I'm like, will you shut up? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. see if you want to talk, uh, go outside, fuck off and talk. I'm like, I'm trying to watch this. <laughs> so, one, one of my favourite, because I'm sad and I watch movie reviews because I love movies. I like um, movie but, reviews. Well, good. But there's, there's, okay. this, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, well, good. Good for you, Bob. Nice. No, but there's this fucking uh, movie review guy, and his name is Chris Stockman. I don't know if you've heard of him or but, uh, <laughs> what's up? It's just like every time I reviews on the YouTube. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, such a cool dude. Cool dude Do you know why? Because right? I'm so fly. Because I know whether to watch that movie. <laughs> what do you say? Because I know whether to watch that movie. <laughs> oh, for Because right. I know whether to buy that <laughs> Fuck me. But no, uh, his name's Chris Stockman, and he actually yeah. got on the news. So he did because he's made now two videos um, yeah. on his annoyances and why he doesn't like to go to the cinema and he'd rather just wait till it comes out in DVD, back in DVD, Blu-ray or stream it or something. To and be that's far, because yeah. of people. You know, and he yes. talked about his uh, instances, but there was one instance he talked about um, and he was just sitting there complaining, so he was. And he was like, and now I have to see your light of your phone because you just had to see if he commented after he liked your fucking photo and I'm like exactly fam like people are so much on their phones in the cinema you know what I mean and they're sitting there and they're on Instagram seeing if people have liked their recent post and shit yeah. like you can't even sit down and watch a film you're so enthralled in social media and your likes and your popularity that you can't even go and watch a movie and that turn off for like two hours you know what I mean yeah you can't even do that yeah no cause it's like whenever I go to the fucking cinema um I unless it is an emergency do not call me do not text me <laughs> I, I it's like when I go see Fast and Furious 9 unless it's an emergency do not call me do not text me like do, do not interrupt me seeing Finn Diesel catching a car fuck off <laughs> no, with this no. bare hand <laughs> no um I literally t I turn my brightness down completely on my phone and I put it on silent but I keep it on just in case there is an emergency but I, mm. I keep it on um but I turn the brightness down and I turn it off because I'm checking anyway and then even if I did need to check it because say I felt it going off I literally yeah. see I'm different I don't just hold it up you can't see me like but I don't hold it above my head so everybody can fucking see I literally hold right. it down low and put my other hand over it so even the smallest brightness people can't see and I check and if it's not I put it back in my pocket because I, I went right. to the movie for a reason I went to the movie to watch the movie exactly. yeah you know, it's like it's like it's like I bought Rainbow Six Siege to play Rainbow Six Siege. You never would have fought it, but it did because I'm a crazy man, right? <laughs> like, like I'm not, it's like Call of Duty. Imagine people buy Call of Duty to sit in a corner. I buy Call of Duty to actually play the game. Call me crazy. Oh, yeah. I, I'm fucking mad, lad, but I did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's like I read they're so annoying. because I'm sad. I don't just buy a book and leave it on the shelf. Which is what I do anyways. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yes, you fucking do. <laughs> yeah, I fucking do. It's no, but um, no, I agree with that. A lot of people that just go to the cinema are annoying. See, it's yeah. kind of just like... Cause, see, it's like whatever the fuck you do, you do. But it's like you're disturbing other people and that's why it's annoying. That's why, like... Exactly. <clears throat> if I'm not interested in the movie, I'm not going to go. And it's as simple as... If I'm not enjoying the movie... Uh, yeah. Like, say say a couple of us went and none of us were enjoying the movie and we just wanted to have a laugh. We're not going to sit there and have a laugh and disturb other people. We're just going to leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, it's going to leave. No point in going to the movie. Like, people would ask you, you know, uh, like, how was the movie and whatnot. Like, after you've been there. And, you know, you could just turn around and you could say, oh, but shit, wasn't really that interested. And you're like, well, of course you weren't interested. You were sitting on your fucking phone the whole time. Yeah. You didn't give it a or, chance. Or they turned know? around and go, oh, it was a great movie. Oh, really? What was what was the main character's name? Who died? Yeah. What was the story behind? And they wouldn't yeah. fucking tell you. They'd be like, oh, I, I, just, I just remember, like, that, that one guy, you know, like, said that word. And, like, yeah. yeah. It really made the movie. It was like... Oscar worthy. <laughs> it's like people just don't pay attention. But yeah, no people are annoying as shit in the cinemas. So that's why when I go to the cinemas and if it's like empty, I try to sit as far away from people as possible. So yeah, see, um, I never, I never uh, realized that. Like whenever I was a kid, of course, because you're a kid, you don't have the respect that you have for the art now. Yeah, but like I didn't back then. And like my eighth birthday, we went to see. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, which no, it was alright. But um, what <laughs> wasn't really incredible? Awesome. I called more the average Hulk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
You know, no, I just, I just call it, you know, like the below average Hulk. <laughs> it was written, and then it was rewritten. It was, by <laughs> the movie mediocre movie. Hulk. To rewrite movies. Just call yeah. it the mediocre Hulk. Exactly. The mediocre sulk, because it was a sulky time. <laughs> Wait, it was fuck me, that's such a dad joke. That I was know. Real... <laughs> but dad, fuck me, I disappoint myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but uh Yeah, no, uh, and the, the cinema, it was like me and like all my like eight-year-old friends, like whenever I had friends as a child. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm sad and alone. <laughs> but no, uh... <laughs> Our friends back then, it was great. Like TC, I think it was one of them that came. I can't remember. I, no, I think he came to my eleven. But um, I and uh, the cinema was completely empty, so it was. So it was only just us. But uh, I remember this guy Tyler, who used to be like my best friend back then. Um, I invited him, and he came. But he just he sat and watched the movie. You know what I mean? He sat yeah. in his seat and watched the movie. Um, but the movie theater was empty, so all my other friends went down to the front, and I just kept running back and forth and back and forth, and we just kept fucking about and running, fucking about and running in that ring, and I was just like, you know, I disappoint myself so much, like, back then, because, like, I would have just really loved to have seen that in the cinema, and I did see it in the cinema, but I can't remember it, because, you know, I was too busy fucking about it, <laughs> so, you know what I mean, like, I would have just loved to see some movies in the cinema, like, Fight Club, I would love to see that in the cinema, but, you know, I didn't. Fair <clears throat> Probably because it was like a 90s or 80s movie. I can't remember. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't born. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> what? <laughs> there, was, there, there was so many movies I would love to see in the cinema. Like, like Twilight, the first Twilight, I would love to see that in the cinema. <laughs> I would have loved to see The Godfather in the cinema. There was only one problem. Well, I wasn't born then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, fuck my parents for not being together back then. You know what I mean? Oh Christ! Oh my God! Oh uh, Christ! But then again, if I had have seen it in the cinema, if I was born back then, I wouldn't be sitting here today because I would, I wouldn't be like you know, twenty-one and sad and depressed alone. You'd I'd be, be like dead. Thirty-four and sad and depressed alone. No, you'd just be dead. Okay, dead. Yeah, I yeah. would be dead because I'd be thirty-four, sad, depressed, and alone. So I would have ended up in it. Yeah. Um, that is depressing. I am sorry. Bye. I swear to God, if my phone falls over one more goddamn fucking time. It's actually pissing me off. Alright. Um, yeah. A few things has happened over the past few weeks. Right? Uh, David Dobrik returned to YouTube. That's big. Um, do you remember the YouTube versus TikTok social event? It's literally all I want to say about it. Big scandal. Nobody's getting paid. Because, you know, what is a U- what is a, an online event without the scandals? You know what I'm saying? Um, yes. So now I know he's getting paid. The new Day by Daylight update, right, obviously came out. We've talked about that. I still haven't played the new map. I haven't played it in like since five <clears throat> Yeah, but I've been playing it and I still haven't played the new map yet. It took, the, the map was out for a week. Like, you couldn't play it for a week because it had problems. They brought it back and I still haven't been able to play it. So it's, the DLC's been out for about two, three weeks and I still haven't been able to play the goddamn map. I'm playing against oh Nemesis and Mil- Because I just- I just can't get it. Because- <laughs> <laughs> Because- they, I don't know why, right? But see when a new map comes out, usually they make- Because obviously it's random. Usually they make it a higher chance that you're going to go to that map. And I thought, yeah. because they took the map out for an entire week, because it had its problems, I thought when they brought it back that it would be a high chance you get that map. Clearly not. Because the only other way I said that is you have to get an offering to go to that. Which you're obviously not going to get an offer in any time soon to go to that because it's such a new map. So I still yeah. haven't played the new goddamn map. Jesus. Well, yeah, maybe it's like 2K. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they make a game and it has a bunch of problems. Just like they made the map that had some problems. And then the next year, they, you know, they took it out. And then they brought it back. And it fixed those problems. But, you know, it has more problems. So maybe it's like that. Are you talking about the WWE 2K games? I'm talking about any fucking 2K games. Okay, you no, because I was about to like, say, speaking speaking on that, because I'm like speaking from my experience with 2K, especially NBA, I was like, what they actually do is they take something that was sweet, polished, shiny, and good looking, right? <laughs> they take a supermodel that was amazing, worked well in the game, and they batter her with a hammer, right? Nice. And then they take someone who was in a cast 
and they do this magical surgery, and now this bitch can fucking backflip dunk. That's the difference. It's like they take something that was amazing, like a supermodel, mm. and they batter it to the ground and break it. They take something that was crippled and they make it full health again. So they're like, oh yes, this. You complained about this being broke last year. Well, nah, it's fixed. And then you're like, but what about this? This was working last year. Why is it broken? Like, I will fix it again next year. <laughs> That's what they do. They, they fix stuff and they break stuff because then they promise you that they'll fix that shit next year. And then you're like, oh, I believe them. Spike Lee wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> you fucking, you buy the game. And then you're just like, oh my God, it's fixed. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, sorry. No, what they actually do, the way 2K persuades you, right? 2K up its graphics. NBA games up its graphics to try and persuade you. You're like, wait a minute. I can't even play this game. This game is broken. I can't even play the game properly. But you know what? At least I can see the sweat dripping off LeBron's head. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's what they, they try to persuade your graphics. I can see the sweat dripping off LeBron's head. I think that makes up for it. Like, I can see this LeBron's so sweat. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, this is so realistic. It's <laughs> like it's actually there because it's sweating and LeBron actually sweats. <laughs> It's like I can smell the stench, but it's just me. So it's, you know. it, it's like I'm actually there with LeBron. It's it's okay to have the broken game because I feel like I'm actually in the crowd watching LeBron. Like they actually try to persuade you with good graphics just for that. They're literally just like, look, here's the sweat dripping off them. Here's this. Next next time they're gonna take the cyberpunk route and be like, guess what? See LeBron. You may not be able to use him properly, but now you can see his bulge and everybody's going like, Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the game doesn't work, but we can see his balls! <laughs> oh my god, we can customise his pubic hair! Yay! <laughs> That's actually a thing you can do in oh, Cyberpunk, and it's really sad. Oh, <laughs> it's really sad because it's a first time you can Why the fuck are you going to see that? You know what I mean? <laughs> And the fact is, they put more time into designing what the penises look like than the actual performance of the game. And it's like, wow, that's so cool. No, I do. It's like whenever they add so much customization for a first-person game. It's like, do you know when, like, Siege, you know, on Call of Duty? T-Mac and, like, Cameron and Daniel buy their skins, and I'm like, why? It's a first-person game, you can't see it. I'm like, you literally can't see it. The only, the only like, reason to buy that is for other people, other people to see it whenever it. they kill you. Yeah. I'm like, even the guns, right? I'm like this. Some of the gun skins, they're nice. I go, they're cool to have, and I go, but I'm not going to pay for them, because is that black ice going to help me fucking ace everywhere? No, so then fuck it. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh, oh Christ, I can't. Oh, terrible, <laughs> I actually can't. That's so true. They're always just like, oh my god. <laughs> the, the brawn sweats. It's fine. <laughs> the game is broken, but it's fine because we can see his sweat. <laughs> it's like I can smell him. Oh my god, they He's got the. Really <laughs> yo, oh my god, they got the inches from the bronze eyebrows to his hairline correct. His forehead's it's massive. Really. It's so realistic. <laughs> Hey, they got that booger in his nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <sighs> that is literally 2K, though. Like, they they try <laughs> to distract you with graphics because, like, I remember when they, I think it was 2K19, which was I never played it, but it was one of the worst just by watching it. And uh, they were like, oh, look at these graphics. I guess what they actually did, they were like, oh, look at these graphics. And that's whenever they first started. Like, they actually, by the way, Shay, you think I'm joking? They actually showed you in the trailer they showed you highlights, and then there was just a close-up, I think it was 2K19, of LeBron dribbling the ball. But instead of showing you him dribbling the ball, it was a close-up to his face. And then the sweat dripped, and you it like it focused on the sweat <laughs> dripping. <Yeah. laughs> that, that they actually tried to persuade you, like, they sweat now. That's pretty cool, right? And you're like, it is kind of cool. Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's just like, look at the sweat, it's not cool. It is kind of cool. Take my money. Oh my. <laughs> no, but that's what it people actually cool. like. People watched that and was like, that is kind of cool. Here's my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Take over my 60 P's. Oh, God. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I can't even get a 60 2, 2K is that unpredictable that I wouldn't be surprised because Space Jam's supposed to be coming out. I wouldn't be surprised next year. Like, here's Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Shit. I wouldn't oh, be surprised to fucking put the Toon Squad on. 
Here's Donald Trump. Trump. Nate! <laughs> Clock me. <laughs> Where, where's the only place that he would not play? Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jaden. I'm oh. Panda next to the wall. <laughs> Mexican <laughs> paper. Oh. <laughs> it's great. He's like, we're going to build a wall, and we're going to build it. And we're gonna labor all of our American people to build it, but we're gonna make the other country pay for it for some fucking reason. <laughs> and you're just like, well, yeah, it makes sense, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. politics. Um. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll move on. To, left is we'll move on to the questions here. Okay. Um. <laughs> I can't. Um. <laughs> I love how we just shot on 2K for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <coughs> oh, Jesus. WWE games have never been so shit whenever, you know, before 2K. Yeah, 2K came in. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 was the best. Do what? Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 was the best. The one with Triple H mm -hmm. on the cover, that was the best one. Yeah, I like, uh, what do you call it? My, well, see, my all-time favorite game has to be Smackdown vs. Raw 2011, because that was the one I bought by mistake. Um, actually, I ended up loving it. Because I was actually meant to buy WWE All Stars, because me and uh, TC had been playing that um, on the 360 yeah. the demo of it, and it was so good. Um, and then I bought. They didn't have it. Game actually just didn't have it. It was one of those moments you're like, oh shit, you know, like the universe did some fuckery here, but maybe <laughs> actually buy a better game, you know. Uh, and I bought that. I love that shit, and I became the reversal king of that fucking game. Oh, like, man, I could tell. tell. Yeah, I, I could tell everything. And then I got WWE 12, and uh, couldn't play it because it changed a lot of shit. <laughs> so I just went back to play in 2011, and I loved it. <laughs> Fair enough. Still have it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I think the old games were out better. We'll, we'll move on to the questions here. Um, <clears throat> the first one says... I don't know if we've had this before. <laughs> it's quite a weird one, so I feel like I, I should remember, so don't think well. It said, I actually remember this question as well. It said, I took this from a Sidemen video. You have a big cucumber. For every inch that goes up your ass, you get a mill. How many inches are you going up? I remember that being asked in a Sidemen video as well. I can't remember which one. But that's how you know a lot of uh, people that watch my channel or the UK. Because a lot of the time, whenever they send these questions, I'm like, I recognize that from somewhere. And it's probably the side I recognize it from. <laughs> so yeah, how many well, how I, many inches? <laughs> I have a question. Is the cucumber loop? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, about five. <laughs> 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 you do realize the whiff of a cucumber as well, right? That shit's going to hurt. You ain't Riley Reed's that ain't natural. Like, know, that ain't gonna be natural, dude. Does, does it get shoved up or just, does it get eased in, you know? It's just the eased in as far as it goes up. Oh, yeah, about five. <laughs> you probably won't be able to sit for a week, but you know what? I'm sure that that uh, five mil will pad your ass. <laughs> I mean, my uncle's already taken me through that training before, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm built for this. I've been, I've been training. <laughs> the day he forced my head on that ground and shoved my ass up in the air, I knew I was going to be a king of something. Um, Fuck me. That's I, devastating. I'm I sorry. Know. I'm so sorry. Mm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, that actually depressed me if I saw her that one. So, your answer's five. Yeah, probably about five. You know, because I'm weak, so... I'm kind of just like, do I need five now? <laughs> I'm kind of just like, that's going to be fucking weird, and it's going to hurt a lot, and I'm like, do I need five now? I'm like... Um... Do you know what, fuck it, just the one up, you six. Just, oh, fuck you. <laughs> just <laughs> so you can have the bragging rights, that's right. I can shove a cucumber one inch higher up my ass, because I'm superior, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fuck you, right? Okay, Shay, right, right, right. Shay, Shay, you walk around Fine, with please. the extra mill. Do you know what I got this extra mill from? <laughs> from not being a bitch like you. Because I could take that extra inch pussy hole. <laughs> Fine, then. Fine. Five inch cucumber on a wee tiny corner of the cup. It's steamed in the fucking oven. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just take a beat casserole, fuck! 
<coughs> a fucking five inch key, those six inch cucumber and a rolled up calzone pizza. Yo! Oh, fuck it out. One of them? <laughs> Not the one that was up your hours, like, <coughs> I had pizza last night, man, it was so good, and then, like, I'm getting another food tonight, so. Well, uh, Fine. yeah, so you say five, <laughs> I say six. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, if we, if fun. anybody ever wants to offer us six, five mil, six mil, <laughs> I'll be. Or just, five, just, six, just, <laughs> but just to be superior to Josh, I will take five inches and... A tiny corner to call. So, you know, I've got that over here. You took six inches, but I took two things. So, fuck you. Fine, I'll take a plasma TV. <laughs> yeah, but you can't take that off your own. Do you know what that reminds me of? No, whenever I said that, I was... In my head, I was imagining, remember, the cartoons as a kid. They eat, like, say, a big, like, say, a jawbreaker. And then their body just turns into a jawbreaker. You shove it up. You do, oh, yeah. Your body turns into a TV. <laughs> like, you're just <laughs> yeah. on a TV. That's amazing. Your arms and that's legs like, are the each corner of the TV. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, so bad, Natty, bro. I know. That's, that's what I said. I go, a jawbreaker is reminding me. But, uh, yeah. So, five oh, and six. God. And Shay will also sh- shove a corn up a cob. Corn up a cob, corn on a cob, yeah. up his ass that has been steamrolled in the microwave. No oven. Yeah, but like a wee tiny one, you know, like you know, one of them wee tiny ones. That's what. I'm yeah. Like, a wee tiny one. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was funny. Um. Hey, boys. <laughs> what is the most useless talent that you have? Useless um, talent that I have. I'd probably say being alive, to be honest, because it doesn't really. I'd say talent brings you good stuff. All being alive really brings you is pain and sadness. So I'd say being alive is probably the most useless talent to me. Fuck, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just disappointing everybody, but you know, that's pretty <laughs> nice. No, I, I don't know. Hmm. I don't really have any talents. I'm kind of just boring, you know. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's acknowledged it now. <laughs> um, Facts accepted. Nice. Yes, yeah. she's just talent. I'll go home and dry now, yes. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I Do you know what? what? I'd probably say my most useless talent is shuffling. Because shuffling is dancing, and you do dancing to impress people. And I'm, t- I, if, even if I was single, I'm too ugly for that to impress someone anyway, so it's kind of useless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too ugly for that to impress anybody, so it's kind of useless. So I'd say shuffling. Being able to shuffle. <laughs> I'd say that's my I most useless seen. talent. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, both of our most useless talents right now is being able to shove five to six inch cucumbers up our ass at this point. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Yo. Um, fuck, I actually have no idea oh, because Christ. I'm terrible at everything. <laughs> I like to play games a lot, but you know, that's it. Uh, if I read, I read really, really slowly. <laughs> so, <you> know, like, <laughs> Like, it literally took me, like, an hour to read 12 pages one time, so, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very bad at stuff, so, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I've got no talent, so, you know, I'm just a loon. You can't say, I was, I was put on this earth just to be the punching bag for everybody else. <laughs> I, I was put on this earth, you know, I, I, I was just meant to be, you know, like, the comedic value of everybody else's story, you know what I mean? But, I'm a side character in my own story. That's what it is. <laughs> it's so good. I'm not. I'm not even a side character. I'm just a background extra guy who gets paid like when <laughs> just to be there. <laughs> to be there. I'm not I'm even that. Not. I'm the cleaner who cleans the set. Yeah. No, oh. I'm the guy that buys everything. So what? What? What is, what is your most useless yeah. talent? Just pick something I'm random that you can do that you're like, whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Can, oh, you, can, can you do the, the f- voice? Well, then there you go. <laughs> yeah, I can laugh like the Joker. That's that's what I can do. I can do the Joker. I can do the Heath Ledger sort of voice, and then I taught myself how to laugh like the Joker because I hated my laugh. Um, I'm not. That's just my natural laugh because it, stuff happened inside my head. So it's, it's, <laughs> so that, that's your answer, though. It's yeah, fucking I can roast in fat. That's, that's literally it. Huh? <laughs> Like, well, mine's shuffling no in, and yours is being able to do an impression. Actually, exactly. do you know what? If we're doing the same, I can do the Herbert the Pervert impression sometimes. <laughs> oh, so, yes, you can. I actually can't do it as well as I used to. I used to be able to have a full conversation. Now I'll say a few words, then it'll go out of tone, and it'll go back into tone randomly. See, do you know whenever Herbert the Pervert, he says, Hi, Kyle, I can say that. That's the only thing I can say. The person that can do it perfectly is TC. 
TC, I remember me and him were sitting having a full conversation yes. and her with the perfect voice. Yes. It was amazing. That's whenever I could fully do it and me and him were just going back and forth. Jeez. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, I can't do it as much anymore. I used to be able to do it perfectly. I can't do it that much anymore. So yeah, I, I can get the high cow line because he just goes, high cow. And I'm just like, nice. It's funny how you did that so high that your mic cut out. Ah, you goes cat, and then your mic cut out because you did it that high. So you're like, oh. Wait, I'm gonna try it again. Hang on. High cow. Yeah, your mic, your mic cut out again. <laughs> That's not a useless talent. Yeet! I make my I love how I, I love I love how you just yelled. That's not a useless talent. Yeet! Louder than you were saying hi, cat, and your mic didn't cut it. Yeah, but yeah, uh, still. All right. Well, that's PS4 our uh, that's our most useless. I need to crack open the window because I'm sweating like there was no tomorrow. Um. Oh yeah, under my nipples is really sweaty right now. I mean, it's fucked. Man, everywhere <laughs> is fucking sweaty. I could fucking, I could help. <laughs> per countries, not fucking dehydrate and die. Like, I could, I could help that. Um. <clears throat> oh, do you, anyway. do you know what I could do? Do you, do you know one of those uh, slip and slide things? I could yes. slide down one of the them with no water, just my sweat. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do, you, do you have a fact for us before we end it? Because I, I need to do stuff and I'm roasting. I need to crack open the window. Like it's. Oh. oh. A fuck. It's that. It's really boring because it's just it's out of the top of my head, and it's only because of the book I've been reading. Just go. Um, for it. Okay. So uh, Twilight, uh, you know, like life and death. Twilight reimagined. So that one. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stephanie Meyer didn't really know how to write that, <laughs> so she just wrote it really bad. But uh, she so got good. her sons. She she got influence from her sons. To tell her how to write for a guy, and it didn't work. So her sons might not be her sons. I'm sorry, that's really bad. Like, like I've got no idea. I'm sorry, I didn't think about it. That just sounded just, like I, I need to, they were kidnapped. I need, yeah, like, I need, I need to take the time to fucking just, like, think of, like, a fact. But there you go. Uh, she got influence from her sons, helped her write a guy character. So there you go. Fair it enough. wasn't overly stupid and overly I hit my life and I look constantly constipated, you know. So there you go. Fair enough. <coughs> yeah. Right. Well, we'll get a better one for next week because okay. this is just sad. <laughs> so you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're we're rusty. Um right, we'll, yeah, we we'll end it there because I need to do a lot of stuff and like I said, I just need to fucking crack open the window. I'm too sweaty. Like I'm gonna fucking shut down. So yeah, we'll end it there. Um we should be back to normal now weekly. We just took a two weeks break, so we should be back to normal now. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Check out my social media links down below. Check out Shay's social media links down below. Um as always, hope you all have an amazing day. Think positive, test negative. I've been on smooth, that's been Shay, and we'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Peace.